now we are going to discuss about design problem solving how we go for uh, a design solution when there's a problem there uh, we need it to be solved in uh, uh, through visual representation now this is also true that uh, when we can identify our problem and we become specific about what we want the problem gets half solved and rest of the things we uh, pick up from the elements and the principles that is there in um, our mind, our client's mind, uh, it's, it's from the mind of the person who is creating and the person who is uh, at the end of the use. So uh, that way it's very important that we know our problem, what the design problem is and then only we can approach into a successful solution. So in the process of design problem solving, we take into account three most interesting uh, and useful aspect. One is we try to solve a problem by looking, by thinking, and by doing. Now, you may shuffle them. You can just do, and the inspiration can follow you. It can also happen that uh, you do and you think together simultaneously. Or it can also happen that you think and you go by a preconceived idea, and then you implement it. And looking is one process that is continuous, that has to be very regular. Now, when we talk about inspiration, uh, there is one consideration that whether we need to wait for the inspiration, the right inspiration to come our way or we should just work and the inspiration um, may just uh, uh, happen there. So that's another consideration and when we work with our clients, we do not have time to wait for the right inspiration to come our way. So when we say that we are identifying a problem, we go by a, a process that is problem identification. This is also an analysis through which we also come down to certain solutions from our existing knowledge that can be put as hypothesis. So hypothesis is all about how we assume our common sense says that this can be the possible solution for uh, this particular design problem. But then we need to also go by rigorous hypothesis testing because our assumption may also go wrong. But there is no harm in assuming that uh, opens our mind and we get into the uh, different steps of thinking in a problem solving process. And then how to test the hypothesis, we collect the data, we talk to people, we interview people, we make observation and uh, then we get a lot of information in the form of data. Then we analyze the data with our uh, senses, there are tools available for that. Then uh, when we go by this kind of a process that involves looking, thinking and doing, finally uh, our outcome has to be also uh, combined with the utility and aesthetics both. So a form and a function then uh, come together and then we try to find out the right expression, the right mode of communication, the right medium, the right method, the right material. Uh, that is something you know what we consider. And uh, then we also think of the economic viability, the practicality, the pragmatics and also uh, this is very important because there can be many practical solutions for a design but we also need to go by the trend. Uh, whatever practical or successful the solution must be, if it doesn't suit our time then the entire purpose can be lost. And then the basic semantics that uh, we take into account because uh, we know how the viewer will approach to the uh, particular design. And then comes the style that you are choosing and that is related to the visual expression. When we talk about the visual style, we need to know, we need to find out the right style, the most suitable style to execute the object. So now let's uh, just take up one design problem as an example. So for us, this is the present design problem. When we uh, assume that there is a client, uh, who are working on a design that is a newspaper ad of a 4 inch by 6 inch size, a printed text with the minimum but impactful content. 
Now let's see how the client is. The person for whom we are designing it may not be the client. So for whom we are designing is a different user group and client is a person who is assigning this design to us. So we, we should also know that where all these people stand in the process of design. So together is the organization that connects old people with children who are in need through a program called Walking Stick. So we have the name of the organization together and the program that is also like a temporary program that is called the Walking Stick. So these are the two considerations that we have and as we know that you try to first figure out the different analogy and metaphor to support these two concepts. Then the design parameter or the design constraints are also very important there. Maybe here the problem is given this way that we go by a constraint, we have these restrictions that the ad that we are making for the print media that has to be black and white in color and we can incorporate just one extra primary color into it. Uh, now that can also be flexible. Now the audience is the socially conscious people who are going to read the ad. They are uh, the daily readers of newspapers that we can also assume. Uh, and the aim of the design is to provide the mutual company to uh, the two different age group which is uh, the old person and the young ones to inculcate moral values through conversation to the mutual company, to initiate meaningful communication between them. So these are the basic uh, idea that we have. So we are designing uh, a poster for people who are the newspaper readers. The client is the organization who are commissioning the designer to come up with a solution there. So we know that there is no one way of solving this problem and no client will be happy if I decide what will be my design solution and I just come up with that. Even uh, like when there is no client there and I am designing for my own satisfaction, there also we go in the thematic level of altering and uh, rearranging the compositional elements into it. So that is how we prepare, the, that is how we uh, think and then finally implement the design. So uh, let's see how the solution can come up, how uh, the designers, they get involved in the process of design and then they provide multiple solutions uh, in a um, different way. So. Let's iterate and see how uh, many solutions we can come up with. Hi, I'm Ritunjay and I have tried to come up with various uh, solutions for this design problems. So let's see my problems solution one by one. So this is my first solution to the problem statement. Here I have used asymmetrical balance divided by the walking stick. Primary bright yellow color has been used in the circle in the center to create the focal point of the overall graphic. Many linear yellow colors or the lines in the background has been used to break the hyper contrast of the image since images in the back are the prime focus of the image containing information. The eye flow moves from the top left corner directed by the yellow circle to the message walking stick. Subjects that is the old lady with her hand extended and a youngster with his hand extended are trying to come together for a better purpose. So this is how I try to explain. Yeah, one more thing, taglines, logo for the org organization together foundation has been also uh, designed and it is the additional content which has been designed for the graphic. Uh, hi, I'm Swati. I have also come up with a solution and now I'll explain mine. This is my solution where I have used devices like figure and ground uh, where uh, to show two personalities coming together and uh, which uh, exhibits mutual support and companionship and also they are opposite and complementary figures uh, where I have also used the closure paradigm uh, in which the white background has come up 
as a uh, closed image of a, a teenager as one of the image I have depicted here. So also I have used the color red to show the emotion which again explains togetherness. Also in the image you can see the red color uh, and a reflection of a heart shape there which always gives you a warmth between both the personalities. So yeah, I am Ashwin. So I have come up with another uh, solution for the same problem. And uh, so I thought of doing it in black and white uh, and uh, which is say the the older papers, they used the advertisement just to come in uh, black and white. So uh, it is nowadays that you see that everything has become colorful in the newspapers. In fact, even Hindu is still stuck with black and red, I guess. So uh, my solution is more, uh, you know, in monochromatic. So here uh, you can see that it's minimalistic. It's a uh, min minimal design where uh, I've changed the name uh, of the activity to give five from walking stick uh, and I have brought out the five uh, most important things that the old elderly people would do with the kids that is it, they would either teach they would either play with them or they would sing or say fund or even organize the event on their own so uh, here the five fingers show the five different five small things that they would do say for instance uh, they're going to s uh, spend five hours a week so something like that so this is how you would uh, bring out uh, things fast and in a short space small space as you can see in this design i've placed the title at the top uh, that is giving more importance to the title uh, bringing it to the viewers at, at first and then comes the uh, the design uh, at the center. So let's see another design solution by me. So in this graphic advertisement, I have used the direct metaphorical representation of the subjects. That is the old lady and the youngster, which is, you know, has been represented by the frames, two different frames. The main graphic content is in asymmetry. That is, content on both the side of the vertical horizon is different in terms of representation. That is the exact shape, since both the frames' shapes are different. But with a single look, we mentally tend to join the two frames or the genres together, giving a sense of symmetry. So this is how we can create dynamicism in an image. And also, the graphic has been used with the minimum colors. So ultimately giving the final uh, feel of the problem or the solution which has been provided for the particular problem. Thank you. So here's another solution by me. Uh, here I have used uh, two faces of both the, uh, both the uh, age groups uh, coming together uh, with three primary colors like red, blue and yellow. Uh, two faces are uh, half way cut and uh, joined together which again gives emphasis on togetherness and a stick in between is a, a symbol of uh, togetherness and a walking stick symbol of the event and uh, it is a symmetry of uh, making a single face all together and we mentally connect and make a single face so it uh, emphasizes on the symmetry. Okay, so yeah this is another solution for the same problem where um, I have used the linear design. Um, so again at the top you have the uh, title and it also says uh, five hours a week so it is pretty clear uh, right from the top and um, they're just simple lines that they look like something like uh, just like printing uh, printing you know you print from left to right this is from top to bottom and uh, even the even the numbers that I have written, there are there are uh, there is one, two, three, four, and five five different things that the elderly can do for for the kids. So even the numbers are in uh, Roman format. Uh, they're not they're not the the usual one two that you use. Uh, and well, here the the lines could have been a bit closer, uh, but then uh, the background would have become more brighter, bringing the foreground. Um, you know, making the foreground a bit smaller, and so now that they are all spread out on the the big on the sheet, uh, the negative space becomes uh, more. You know, it goes through the design. It is it, it is you know uh, 
it fuses with the foreground uh, and another thing about the design is it's uh, it's of course minimal but uh, it's you know it's something like you know uh, like an abacus uh, that you that the kids used to use at when they were you know uh, say in standard 3 or 4 so say uh, an elderly person reading the paper would actually would you know it you this would make it make it you know curious for him to go through what what exactly it, it means so he would actually go through the then uh, you know deciphering the the thing so yeah and uh, this is another solution where which is more decorative uh, so as you can see i've put different elements at different although it's all dis distributed uh, in the given space but uh, there are a lot of uh, distractive elements uh, it's not focused at any point uh, and there are a lot of uh, say clip art kind of things on this uh, in this image so from the earlier designs what we have seen that uh, each one of them they wanted to come up with a particular design principle that they've had in their mind and also they found out uh, different solution that uh, follow them. So, uh, in a way, it is all about how well you are in making a decision. So, there is no good, bad or no right or wrong solution, but uh, it is not a single solution that you must come up with at the end of the design problem solving. If think in terms of the visual arrangement, there also it is all about the decision that you are making. There can be many other iterations that you can come up with, there are alternatives always. But finally, you stick to one depending on the context, depending on the time, depending on the trend. And then we know, we become more socially conscious and intelligent to find out the right uh, solution for a design problem. So, when you have some idea in your mind uh, that can be put up in many different ways. So, there are different mediums available. But for us, when we choose visual representation as a medium, it should be expressed as much as possible through the visual means. And those visual means are the elements like the light, the color, the line, the texture and all other things that we have discussed so far. Now, I think we are equipped with all those tools and we can uh, also express our ideas uh, with more uh, expertise and confidence. Thank you.